Hello and welcome beautiful, I hope you're doing amazing. I got asked to show you guys how to do and how to get an invert on spinning in the air. How to make it possible, how to make it easier, how to train for it. And of course, I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first, what does it actually look like? So there are two ways on how to invert on spinning, front and back. For me personally, I feel like spinning to the back and then doing an invert is a little bit easier than going from a front spin, but that's, it really depends on the person, okay? So today, because I find it a little bit easier, I will be teaching you how to do a spinning back invert on spinning pull, and I'm gonna give you a couple of conditioning exercises so you can actually nail it. And the next video is going to be forward spinning invert. So let's get into this. But before, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, let's get into this. Are you excited? I hope that you're already all warmed up. Wrists, arms, shoulders, back, abs hips, everything, so that we can get into this today. I'm starting to just give you a little rundown of what it, what it looks like, where you have to be positioned. So now, I already mentioned that for me, spinning back and then doing an invert in the air is a little bit easier because the setup is basically exactly the same as if you're doing an invert from the floor. An invert from the floor, I hope you all remember this, and if you cannot do an invert from the floor, don't try to do an invert in the air yet, right? Just really nail the invert from the floor. But how you want to set up for an invert from the floor is you want to have your hips behind the pole. You're going to have a strong hold grip where your arm, your bicep is against the pole and you grab the pole with your inside arm at around chin height, maybe a little bit higher. And then the other hand is gonna come on top and you want to bring your elbows together so that you can invert from here, right? So now here, you can choose to lift your legs up straight. You can choose to lift your legs up bent. You can choose to lift your legs up, one leg straight, one leg bent. Okay, all of this is possible and all of this is possible in the air as well. Now. This is the point where you want to be, this is the setup that you want to have in the air as well, when you invert, before you invert actually. So now, I know that when you're up in the air, spinning and climbing and doing all of your tricks and then you're like, now I want to invert, what am I gonna do? Well, the first thing that you want to think about is to bring yourself into this position. No matter where you are, you want to come back here all the time, right? You're like, okay, I need to bring my hips to the front of the pole and have this, this strong hold grip or on the other side, right? Depends on what you want to do and how you feel most comfortable. How do we do that? It's quite easy, quite easy. You need a little bit of strength in your hands and your arms, but what you want to do is when you're climbing, for example, you want to release your legs and you want to let yourself fall into that position, fall into, or kind of like rotating into the position, right? So you're climbing here and you're like, la la la, I'm climbing. And then you're like, okay, now I want to invert. So you let yourself turn into the pole so that then you have enough room and you have space and strength because this is going to help you try to invert like that not gonna work you really want to be set up here so that's what you want to do in the air as you have the spin with it so let me show that to you you're spinning you want to climb right and then you set yourself up you have your strong grip you let go of your legs and then you're here right so now what you want to do is to invert the same way as you want to invert on the floor bringing your knees really close towards your chest before you let yourself drop down and extend your legs if you choose to invert with um, bent legs. 
Now, obviously what you want to think about is also what hand is going to be on top. If you are on the right side of your pole, your right hand wants to be on top so you can invert. If you're on the left side of your pole, your left hand is going to be on top so you can invert and also hook if that's what you want to do. Now, up in the air, it can sometimes be a little bit tricky of like, what hand is gonna come on top, right? If you're, for example, here and you're like, actually I want to turn around so that I can invert towards the back, that's something to think about. So it's actually quite easy, right? If you're like, okay, I want to invert on the right side, having my right leg as an outside leg, my right hand is going to be on top. So if you're climbing a couple times, you want to make sure that you finish with the hand that you want to invert in, right side, right hand, left side, left hand on top. Now, obviously you can invert from all the way up, but you can also, if that's something that you want to do, bringing it into a practice, maybe conditioning, to just invert, you know, go mount the pole from the floor. But you don't want to, you know, just invert and be on static, but you actually want to start spinning while doing your invert, yeah? So now obviously what you can do is you can create some, some circles, some dip spins, and from here straight away invert, right? So that's how you incorporate it. But of course, you can just straight away start simply with your invert. <laughs> how are we going to do this? You want to think about, do I want to invert left or right? I'm going to invert right. So my right hand is on top. <laughs> and from here, you actually want to take a step with your outside leg. Take a step close to your pole. And just as you we're doing the um, reverse leg hook spin, for example, you want to pivot on that outside leg that we're going to step in and whoo, magically that's going to turn into our inside leg. <laughs> it's magic, right? So from here you want to pivot, create your stronghold grip, let yourself fall into it and then you can invert. There you go. Beautiful. So now the hardest part is probably getting those legs up. And that is something, there's not really a trick for it. You really want to continue to working those abs, continue to work those strong hip flexors and your back muscles, yeah? So that you can really pull yourself up here, bringing your chest out, your knees in, and lowering yourself down. I can give you a little bit of a trick, a little bit of a hint. And this hint is going to be much stronger when we invert spinning forward. But what you want to do here is you want to get like take off some weight and our legs are dead heavy. So inverting with straight legs is not that easy, is it? So what you can do here is you can bring your hips instead of trying to lift them up really straight, like for one, you need to have that pull at your hips. It's just going to make it so much easier to bring your hips up, right? Because they are already in this straight line and they're not somewhere here where you have to push them up, which is even harder when you're spinning. So start spinning a very minimum amount before you try to go any faster. But you want to have your hips in front of your pole Strong hold grip and from here what can help to actually twist that outside hip towards the inside just a little bit just a little bit so you're not trying to invert I hope it comes across on camera so you're not trying to invert dead straight which is quite hard but you're bringing yourself in a little bit okay <laughs> And this is going to help you so much more on the um, forward spin. And that's the next video, as I said. But this is also going to help you a little bit to bring you closer to the pole. And the closer you are to the pole, the easier it is to manipulate your weight, right? When you're outside and you're spinning, everything is just so much heavier. And when you bring it inside, it's so much easier to get yourself up on the pole. So at the same time here, to 
take away even more weight is that you want to bend that outside leg. That inside leg can stay straight. If it's still too hard, bend both legs. No worries at all. We're here to train. But if you can keep that inside leg straight, it's just going to create this beautiful long line. And bending that top leg, you're bending it in a little bit. You're not bending it out, having that weight basically drag you away from the pool, but you want to bend it in a little bit, right? So that then you can open it. So in the air, you have this beautiful motion which is kind of like a, a, a windmill, a fang somehow. So try this out. These are my tips for a back spin inward. I'm going to show it to you once again, and then we'll get into just three little drills that you can incorporate at the end or at the start of your pole practice to get stronger. So whatever you choose to do is you want to know that your hips need to be in this position, in your invert position, and then let's go. Think about the little trick that I gave you with bending the outside leg, keeping the inside leg straight, turning those hips, twisting those hips into your pole just a little bit, which is going to make it much easier. And yeah, let's try it out from the floor. Beautiful. And then also climbing once. <laughs> and for me, when I want to invert, it's so much easier for me to also lead with my head. So as I want to fall back, to let my head lead instead of trying to keep my head down low, which is just going to signal my body like, you need to stay small. <laughs> but this is the practice, you guys, so don't get discouraged. Just take it step by step by step. So now the drills I actually want to do on static now. The first drill I want you to do is from the floor, which is basically just a regular lift up, but already trying to move those hips across just a little bit, right? So you are in your full inverse position. <laughs> and then try to envision that you have this little spin going on where your outside leg wants to lead. So you lean over just a little bit before you open and then you come back. Reset, lean over, back. Once more, lean over and back. Beautiful. Obviously, you want to do this on both sides. So let's do this just three for today. The second one you can try out on spinning or static, depending on if you already want to get the spinning incorporated, okay? So from here, we want to start in a climbing position. And then what we want to do is to just learn to let go and bring ourselves into this stronghold position, stronghold grip. So it's really about to learn to let your hips move towards the side in front of the pole, right? Because you're facing it dead straight and then you let go and you want to be here really, really quickly so that you don't lose momentum or tension or time. So let's do this three times on every side, static or spinning, it doesn't matter. Beautiful. 
The third little exercise here is going to be on spinning, where as we are in our full invert position, right? This one, where you just try to make your body figure out and walk to bring your hips, to bring your legs up. Not a full invert, just really this like back and forth motion and we're not stopping. <laughs> So let's do this on every side. We're gonna get into a very slow spin, not too much. And you want to choose one side first. So I'm gonna do my right side first, standing on the right side of my pole. Right hand is on top. I'm already kind of like bringing myself into um, the position. I'm grabbing a little bit higher because I want to pull myself up so my feet are not going to touch the ground. If that's impossible for you, then of course you can start here and just try to maintain this ball shape. If you need to come down and take a rest between every rep, no worries at all, you'll get there. So go into a slow spin, bring yourself into this full position and then just tuck your knees in. Beautiful. So just getting the hang of what is happening when you're spinning. Let's do this on the other side as well. Nice, you guys. I hope this helped you. If you've got any questions, want to know anything else, something didn't make sense, or you just really love this video, let me know down below in the comments, like this video so I know that it helped you. And I will see you very soon with the next video on how to actually do this whole thing just forward.